Hey, I'm Annabelle, nurse, birth doula, and mama, and I'm here to build your confidence in birth. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel and ring that bell to stay up to date to my latest content. We are talking about your big question, do I have to wear a gown in labor? And let's just answer that right off the bat. Nope, you can be completely naked, you can wear a hospital gown, you can wear whatever you want to wear in labor. And this is something that really comes up when I talk to mamas because they have given birth maybe before and they said, yep, I had to wear a gown, I felt like a sick patient, I felt like the nurse just kind of put it on me and didn't even ask my permission. And I really wanna stand up for the medical community here. I am a nurse and I wanna tell you that that is not what the nurse is thinking. She should not be thrown under the bus because she was just trying to help mama. You come into the hospital and you're in labor and a lot is going to happen. And this is why I love to help mamas prepare their birth plan and take charge and be the captain of their ship so that they can walk into their labor room even in the midst of labor when they're in those hot, hard contractions and say, I am still the captain of my ship and I'm not gonna put that gown on because I don't want to. Or yes, thank you so much for offering me that gown. I just need to get these clothes off. Let's put that gown on. But what I see mostly in labor is that mamas are usually not wearing anything in labor. And this might be a little bit uncomfortable for you as you think about the labor process. Maybe you're someone who's a little bit more private and the thought of being naked when there's people around that you don't know might be a little uncomfortable. But I want to encourage you that first of all, when you are in labor, you become very primal. It's a very natural process and everyone around you has a job to do and they're focused on that job and helping you give birth successfully. So it's very natural for nurses to see women just throw everything off because they're hot and they don't wanna be wrapped up in all of this stuff and fabric and so they are naked during labor. For me personally, I had a sports bra on. I got to the hospital and I was okay with them putting the gown on me, so I said, okay, yeah, that's fine, but it ended up coming off and then I was naked from the waist down so that I could give birth. And then I had a plan of bringing a gown or pajamas, I personally had a set of pajamas, to wear in the postpartum period. So if you're thinking, I wanna wear something other than the hospital gown, make sure that you have an outfit for labor that can get soiled, dirty, amniotic fluid, blood, etc., gets on it, throw it in a bag, wash it when I get home, and then put something new, fresh, and just super cute for your postpartum period when you're holding your baby and your guests are coming to visit you. So no, you don't have to wear the hospital gown. You can bring your own outfit to wear during labor or you can be completely naked. Secondly, I would say have a good pair of shoes for your labor process as part of your outfit, shoes that are easy to slip on and off so that you're not barefoot around the labor room, shoes that you can wash that amniotic fluid off of if they get soiled. And then thirdly, have a cute new gown or pajama set for your postpartum period. I am here to encourage you that this is your birth experience, mama. And today is the day to start thinking about all of these little details that will give you satisfaction in your birth memory. The little things like, I wore what I wanted in labor. I ate and drank what I wanted in labor. I had a birth plan that was really good because it was, open to be able to change, but I also talked to my nurse and my healthcare provider about them changing how they saw my birth process so that I got what I wanted. This is a journey that you take during your pregnancy to prepare for your labor and birth experience. Let's do this together. Check out my free mini class that I've made just for you. The link is in the description below. I will see you in that class soon and I'll also see you in the next video.